Hey, welcome back. In this video, we're going to see how to use the vellum brush. So first we'll take a geometry and inside that we'll take an any test object. So just I will take an test rubber toy. And now for this, we need to take an uh, like node called uh, vellum configure struct soft body. And just we need to connect to this. And now we have to take an vellum brush. And just I will connect to this here. And suppose now if you want to activate this brush, uh, we need to select this vellum brush and we need to press enter so that it will activate. And now we got this brush uh, by using this brush, we can able to drag this geometry here. And now suppose if you want to increase and decrease the size of the brush, we can scroll uh, so that we can able to increase and decrease the size of the brush here so that we can able to change the shape of this geometry. And we have different types of brush. Uh, so if you want to see different types of brush, we can right click and you can see there is a like, uh, shape, shape here. So suppose if I put it to volume, so now we can increase, now we can change this volume here. And if you right click, you can change it to like surface so that we can able to change this surface. And here we have different types of modes so that I will explain in another model. And also what the thing is now when we are changing this shape, now we are not getting the perfect output because now we need, uh, because we need to increase the number of triangles for this. So let's say we can increase the number of triangles for this body, but for example, I will take an another geometry. Let's say we'll take an test pick geometry so just like pick head and now we need to connect here so that and now still it has been not updated so if you want to reset this we can select this vellum brush and you can use this option like reset all changes so now it will change it to like pick geometry and also just uh, for timing i don't want this texture so that if you select this pick head so we can and disable this add shader and also we can disable this UV texture here. So now what the thing is now if I want to convert this into like triangular shape. So for this we need to take a node called remesh. So just I will take a remesh here and I will connect in between. And now we need to uh, decrease the target size. Uh, so let's say we can decrease up to 0 0.47. Okay. So now we got this thing and now we will see. So we will select this vellum brush and just we can press enter so that it will activate. And now uh, we can change the mode. Let's say we'll put it to like screen and see now we can change this properly. And now we are getting the proper output. And we can use different types of brushes. So we can use this volume so that we, we can change in different ways. And also suppose if you want to increase or decrease the stiffness of this cloth here. So we can select this vellum stud. And here you can go down and you can increase and decrease the stiffness here. Suppose if you want more stiffness for the cloth, we can increase this. For example, defaultly it is 10. So we can put up to like 1e plus 10. Uh, so now again, we need to reset this. So reset. And now see if I use this now, it has been increased the stiffness of this body here. In this way. And uh, if you want to change uh, different shapes, uh, then we can select and press enter. Just we can just change the shape of this. So what the thing is we'll change type of this brush. So we will change the mode to drag so that we can drag this top body. So see now it's at the top part and now we can drag this thing here. We can able to change this shape of this body if you increase the stiffness here. So if you want to look like actual cloth then we need to decrease the stiffness here. So if you want to decrease again we can go, go to this vellum strut and we can decrease this stiffness here. And again we need to reset and just we can we can able to change this thing here. Let's say we'll create a cloth for this. Uh, so I will take a plane and I will convert the plane into cloth and this test geometry as a collision here. So first I will take a planar patch. Uh, so just I will take a planar patch here and instead of this uh, pig head, just I will connect this planar patch here. And uh, what the thing is now just we'll connect this to this collision object. So now what the thing is here, you will have an, another input uh, in this vellum brush here, that, that collision means like whatever the object you want to make as a collision, then we need to connect that object. So I will connect here. Now the pig head will be converted as a collision object and the plane will be converted as a cloth here. So just I will increase the size and I will make a rotation. So in order to rotate this, we can go to this build plane in this planar patch. And here we can select this XZ plane here and we can increase the size. So I will turn on the template mode for this test geometry. So now we can enable 
Now we can see it properly. So we can increase and decrease this edge length so that we can increase the quality of the mesh. And just I will increase the size here more and just I will move it up direction. Now just we will uh, select this brush and just I will turn off this template mode. And now we'll see, uh, so if I press enter, now you can drag this. Uh, so we can change the mode. Let's say we'll put it to drag and we'll put the screen option here. And now just we can drag this cloth here. And now see if you drag down, it will collide with the object here. So see, now we got this collision properly. And we can use different modes. Uh, so suppose if I want to rotate, you can rotate this cloth. And suppose if I want to like contract, then we can use this contract. So wherever you want to contract, just you we can use this thing. And if you want to drag it properly, uh, we can create a pin over these corners of this cloth. Uh, for example, suppose if I rotate this, now if I want to drag it to up direction or down direction, we can create the pin here. So what is the use of this pin is like, uh, for example, suppose, so if I don't want to disturb this area, you can create a pin over this area. Means like if in order to create a pin, just we need to shift middle mouse button so that it will create the pin. So see now if I left click and drag, so see that part of this cloth has is not affecting because we have created the pin over there. So it is not affecting. So we can create different number of pins. Uh, so if you shift middle mouse button here, so it will create the pin over here. So now that part will not be affected. Only it will be affected where there is no pins here. And also we can drag this pins too. Means like if you want to drag, uh, for example, I will remove this pin. So like control set. And now if you want to drag this pin, you can middle mouse click and drag so that we can drag this pin here and we can change the directions of this cloth here. So just we can move it up and down. So that in this way. So if you want to reset, just you can select this vellum brush and you can click on this reset and just again, we will use this and we will make it to drag here and we'll make nice collision to over the object. So just we'll make this thing here. And if you want to drag it down or up direction, now we can create a like shift middle mouse button and just we can drag it. And now we can middle mouse click and drag so that we can open this model here. In this way, we can make the animations too. And also here we have a shortcuts. Uh, suppose if you want to change the uh, like brush shape here, we can use directly B so that we can able to change the brush here. And also if you want to change the mode, we can use one to six. So if you press one, it is going to the brush mode to drag and three for contact. So in this way, we can use this shortcut here. And if you want to increase and decrease the radius, we can just middle mouse and scroll so that we can increase and decrease the radius here. And if I use G, see now it is making a simulation. Means like we are changing the simulation mode here, like settle means like it is falling down. And if I use, G now it will be changed to damp. Damp is nothing but just if you want to change the shape of this cloth here, now we can change. So if you want to make a simulation, just again press D so that now it will make an, this animation. So you can see the live simulation is also on. So just like uh, we can make it. And uh, suppose if I want to change the mode, uh, so right click, suppose if I put it to drag here, we can change this, drag this. And now see it is making some animation here, like, like stretching kind of thing. So just if I use this, so see now we got this animation. And if you don't want, you can press G again so that it will be damp. And after creating the pin, uh, if you want to remove this, you will have a shortcut like control middle mouse button so that we can remove the pin here. Like see, now we have removed this pin here. So that's it for this tutorial and see you in the next video.